We all fall down, but you have to keep getting back up every time. I completely tore my chest off the bone, detached from the tendon, tendon from the bone. It was touching my neck, it was so bad. But it was my fault, I pushed the limits. I'm not gonna sit here and feel sorry for what happened. I'm gonna do everything I can to come back better and stronger. There's no quitting here. The mentality never breaks, never. Just keep going and get the job done. How fast I can get back, see how well I can get back, see what my physique looks like afterwards, you know. I'm just doing the best I can to get back to 100% as soon as I can. So here we are, localized cryotherapy on my side and my pec and the surrounding areas. It's definitely going to help me a lot in terms of getting back, better back into the gym and back to the stage. So Whatever you have your mind set to, you can do it, you just have to focus and go at it. Consistency is the biggest thing. You have to every day, you have to wake up with that burning desire to just keep going forward and keep doing the little things, you know, those monotonous things that you're like, oh, I don't want to do this, don't want to do this, every day. But it's those little things, you've got to tick those boxes and as the, the months, the years go by, you're going to get there, you absolutely will. Every step I take is one step closer to that goal. You have to rebuild yourself from the ground up. You can't lose focus, just keep in your head that this pain will fade and you will grow back stronger, not just physically, but mentally too. That's what this is all about, getting better in every aspect. It's getting very difficult, but that's why I'm gonna plow through because I'm very motivated to keep on moving, you know? And obviously, me training my legs, keeping the blood flowing around my body is going to help my pec heal because obviously blood carries nutrients therefore better blood flow the more nutrients in there to help repair and grow better so there's a lot of people saying oh you shouldn't be training you should be resting well no because this is proven to help me get back at, back sooner and better back to the gym so I'm not in here lifting crazy weights, it's just lightweight compared to my usual. Getting good contractions, good pump, you know, making me feel like I'm doing something. Also, for the fact that it's all up here too, right? Like, if I'm not mentally stable, then my life's gonna be a mess. So I need to be able to be mentally okay to be able to keep getting better, you know? This is very hard for me. I have to be able to keep coming here and do something that I've been doing for the last seven years, you know, otherwise I'll fall apart. Stay. <laughs> They're not going anywhere.
Now we're going to do the localized cryotherapy, which is like direct cold air pretty much. It's minus 30 degrees. It's supposed to lower your body, your skin's body temperature down to around 15, which is a big drop in skin surface temperature. Again, helping with inflammation, promoting blood flow to the area, helping me recover, which actually has been helping me really well. It's got rid of a lot of the bruising on my side over the time, as you can see from the photos. It was really, really bad. It's been helping so much, it's really good. So we're just gonna show you through the process. Failure doesn't come from falling, it comes from not getting back up. Whatever it takes to come back, I will do. Every body part I'm still able to train, I will train. Keeping the blood flowing, keeping the mind in the game. Keeping the mind in the game is the most important thing. The mentality cannot break. Staying focused on the end goal, building towards it brick by brick, the comeback will always be stronger than the setback. Yeah, yeah unless you stay down. You may have to fight a battle more than once to win it. Getting back up is what separates you from the rest going through the same pain. That's the good part of injuries. It doesn't make you just